All right, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, I'm Madison, and I just wanted to do a what I've been loving recently because I feel like I got some good stuff for Christmas, and I kind of wanted to include some things from 2022 as well. So let's get right into it. So obviously, I cannot make a video without Sweet North, so he has joined us. But I wanted to do, I guess, beauty related first. So first is definitely going to be the Road Skincare Lip Treatment. This is so good. However, you gotta pair it with the chapstick. I feel like this is like ultimate moisture. I love it. It's also not too sticky. Um, and I believe it was $16. So like that is such a good deal. So this combo. And next, I know I've definitely talked about this one before, but you know, it's like every single year, the Drunk Elephant Bronze Drops and then Super Goop Sunscreen. This is perfect. It just kind of blurs your face and gives you a little tan. I love it because this is great every day and it's not like foundation so it's not too heavy. I honestly just use this in powder and that's what I use for makeup. I love it and it does not break me out. So great combo. Again, another combo. I I used to use a primer with mascara. This is honestly just a drugstore one, but I forgot how good it makes your lashes. I've also just been using this. I want to switch though because I heard the Thrive Market mascara is really good, so I need to try that. But like literally, I feel like my eyelashes are just so much longer because I put the primer on first. So if you're not using primer with like mascara or mascara primer, you need to start doing it because it will definitely lift and just make your lashes 10 times longer. Okay, going along with skincare, tretinoin if you are not on tretinoin in 2023 what are you doing this is amazing i actually use this for acne and then i use this with some clindamycin little pads too but like this is amazing um it just tightens your skin it keeps um it increases cell turnover too so if you have not tried using tretinoin especially for acne or anything hop on the train okay and anti-aging it's amazing so and also it's like $50 for this whole tube or this whole jar and it literally lasts like a year so your money's worth then beauty related again beauty related is going to be doing your nails at home I use the D&D &D, &D, I guess it's DC they also sell this on Amazon so you can get it literally primed and I just like it because I feel like anytime I would go and get gel um, manicure at a salon, it would literally chip within like a week or two. And I would just hate it because I wouldn't have the color. So now I have the colors and it's, I mean, other than this is like, I have some that are chipping, but like literally more than two weeks. It's great. So 10 out of 10 recommend doing your own nails in 2023. I feel like also, it's just like more sanitary. I'm the only one who uses this color. You know what I mean? Like it's not someone reusing this on every single person and like less fungus, all that. So definitely do your nails and oh my gosh, <laughs> and definitely get like an at-home gel kit. So much easier and more affordable. Okay, next, this is kind of like mental health wise, is journaling daily or almost daily. I feel like especially if you aren't seeing a therapist or if you are and you're not seeing them every week, it's nice to like get things out on paper, especially if like you're stuck on some thought or stuck on some situation. I just feel like it's amazing just to like let your thoughts run and I feel like it releases some anger if you have any of that. So definitely try and journal every single day or almost every day. Um, I just feel like it helps so much. So, and also this was just from Target, it literally, yeah. Maybe I am a grandma, maybe, but okay, I got this cute little like sleep boxer set. I am obsessed. I needed some like good quality and put together pajamas, but these were, I think they were only $28, which is super affordable. And I like how they're shorts too. This actually, it's very thick, I would say. Um, it's cotton, but they're from Abercrombie. Literally love them. They're actually men's, but I don't mind. <laughs> so definitely if you want some cute little pajamas, I highly recommend these and I will link them below. Again, Abercrombie. It's funny because in middle school, like it was so in, you know what I mean? And just in high school, you're like, oh my God, never again. Like I would never wear that. Never wear Hollister. Well, Abercrombie is making a comeback. Okay. They're, I think this is the curved love jeans, this color. 
I wanted to replace my other light wash jeans and these ones are amazing. I, I feel like my past ones, they were super like stiff and you know, sometimes high-waisted jeans are hard to bend over and stuff like that. These I literally wore in the car and I crossed my legs. So that's how you know they're comfortable. These are the 90s Relax Jean High Rise. I always just get one size up just because I like them to be a little roomy, but these are like amazing. I think they're straight leg too. And yeah, they just make you look snatched. They're super comfortable too, so get these jeans. Next would just be the tote bag. I This one is from Lauren Elizabeth. I love tote bags. I just throw what I need in and I go, and it literally is a mood. Like it makes your outfit look so much cooler, just the tote bag, so highly recommend that. Y'all should get that. I actually almost forgot these Uggs. Like, remember I got these and I was like, oh, I don't know if I like them. You will get over the low arch, but y'all, like, first off, they're cute. Okay, they're cute. Second, these are just the normal. They're not like two platform. Great. I wear these, I'm not even kidding, every single day, at least for eight hours a day. I am weird though. I don't like wearing my indoor shoes outside, so I will never walk outside in these, but super supportive like my feet don't hurt especially if i stand or just sitting all day y'all should get these okay these have definitely got their wear from me so 10 out of 10. then next these are just i guess things in general one is reading before bed the past two nights i've been reading at least 50 pages before bed in bed and it is such mood especially if you really like the book obviously i'm reading i think it's a light in the flame love that book so, you know, stop scrolling on TikTok, read before bed, and yeah. Next is going to be the Gossip Girl reboot. <laughs> okay, I know that this has been out for a while. I know season two just came out, but I was like, no, I don't like it. I don't want to watch it. Like, Gossip Girl's only first season. The second season is super good, but it's com I feel like it's completely different than the first one if you were to compare them. So, but I also love the second one. So y'all should all give it a watch. You will probably like it more than you think. So I think I'm on like episode six of season one. So <laughs> lastly, this is going to be actually taking sleeping medication. So I swear I've tried everything like under the sun that is like over the counter supplements. I tried cherry juice, melatonin, obviously CBD, all that stuff for sleeping. And I mean, they do help. I am just someone who like if like I just get so thrown off in my sleep especially like if I have anxiety or anything like that I just feel like I'm super restless especially whenever I was a flight attendant because I think I would know that I could only sleep like I like I would only what is it like if I knew that I had to sleep like six hours because I had minimum rest or something like that you know what I mean um obviously minimum rest is more than that but like it would be hard because then I would get anxious and I'd be like, oh no, what if I can't fall asleep? And then I couldn't fall asleep. It was just this whole ordeal. Um, so I actually started taking sleeping medicine again. I told my primary care, I'm on Trazodone 50 milligrams. Like I sleep all throughout the night. It's also not like you don't wake up drowsy either. Even if you have to like wake up super early, you will not wake up drowsy. I think it's actually an antidepressant, which that's great too, you know, like but I definitely recommend it, especially like I feel like sleep is so important. So it's, you need to make it a priority to sleep eight hours. So if you're struggling with sleep at all and you've tried everything over the counter, you're like, oh yeah, the CBD works sometimes. No, like literally go to your primary care, get this prescription or get a prescription. And yeah, cause we are getting eight hours of quality sleep in 2023. So <laughs> that is all the things that I have been loving recently. Comment below some things that you've been that you have been recently loving and subscribe below.